Project management is a process of taking a project from start to finish, from nothing to a high volume production in no time at all. Project management starts with the selection of the team representing production, manufacturing, design, purchasing and prototype. After the team is selected, the project manager develops a question log or open issue book. There are documents that need to be prepared before the project starts. Prints, engineering specification, list of significant or critical characteristics, and process flow diagram. Each process step in the flow diagram has to be inspected. For example, if we swage, we need to check the size of the swage. If we machine, we check either the dimension or the surface finish. This will lead to a control plan. In the next step, we need to develop the design FMEA and the process FMEA. During the process steps of the prototype build, we run short-term capability studies, which are useful even if, it, if the run is 20 pieces. This is the early stage of the project. Or in the main manufacturing project stage, we continue with the team and a question log updated based on the results of the prototype stage completed. We also modify the flow diagram, design, process, FMEA, and the control plan. Based on the new flow diagram, we develop a list of production and QC equipment, as well as the list of in-process gauges and production testers. The next step is to write a request for quotation for the equipment and gauges, specifying the acceptance criteria and list of approved components for equipment. Before we develop the component suppliers list, we must give the supplier a list of dimensions. They need to be SPC control for each component or subassembly. Purchasing will send drawings, RFQs, and instruction to the supplier for quote. One of the major diamonds on the timing plan is the financial project approval. The project is written and submitted for approval to get money. Financial requests should include all the documents you develop, timing plan, list of the equipment, gauges, quotes, flow diagram, control plan, FMEAs, and feasibility statement. With the project approved, we can issue purchase orders and start simultaneous engineering machine build and tooling development using the reverse engineering method. For all the equipment, acceptance capability studies and for gauges, R&R &R studies are required. Normally the, the four hour runoff on the OEM floor will have to be performed subsequently for eight hours on the customer floor. Sometimes a smart engineer specifies non-stop 24-hour or 48-hour debug run on the OEM floor. This is when we bypass all the proximity switches and the machine runs with or without parts. If it stops for any reason, the run of time will start from zero again. To accept all gauges, we run R&R &R studies. Once the production, QC equipment and gauges are delivered, the engineer supervises the installation and 8-hour run of the equipment is considered the production responsibility once the manufacturing engineer develops the spare parts list, sets them up in the crib, sets up the SPC frequency, develops the setup instruction, and supervises the operator's training. The other documents that need to support the production are the operator's instruction with illustration, preventive maintenance, and reaction instruction. We came from nothing from an empty floor to a high volume production within 9 to 12 months. Now we are ready to develop the first PPAP that includes the warrant, dimension, dimensional layout, feasibility statement, material certification, and our supplier's SPC charts and gauge R&R &R studies. Somewhere in the process, either during the prototype build, equipment build, or during production, you will have to run design of experiment. But that's a different story.